Then Chandelier looked at me at Cal State Fullerton and said, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. She said, Jesus, was he just a man? Was he a prophet or was he God? She asked me in that college six weeks ago, what must I do to be saved is what she was saying. Who is this Jesus guy? I've heard about him. My friends say he's Mashiach, Messiah. I don't know. Can you explain him to me? We had the most fascinating talk at Cal State Fullerton, okay? And explain very something simple to her called the uh, perfect blood sacrifice where Jews would take a lamb, put the lamb on the altar, perfect lamb, no blemish, no broken leg, nothing. Put your hands on the lamb, faith, your sin transfers, cut the throat, the shedding of the blood, Leviticus 17, your sins are remiss on God. You must have a perfect blood sacrifice to be right with God. Do the Jews still sacrifice animals for their sins? Yes or no? No, in 70 AD, Titus came through and knocked over the temple in Jerusalem, bulldozed it over, so it's gone. But if God says perfect blood sacrifice, you still have to have a perfect blood sacrifice. Well, I explained to her in the New Testament, it says Jesus was tempted and always we were yet without sin, so that made him perfect. He died on the cross, that was the sacrifice. Revelation 1 says his blood will cleanse you of all sin. You actually still have a perfect blood sacrifice. It's the Lord Jesus Christ, you see? So when you meet God, when you go through those gates and you meet God, you better not hand him your good works. You better not hand him your yard of the month sign and all the other stuff that you earn down here. You better hand him the perfect blood sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're in serious trouble the moment you die.